Hey, how you doing? It's Chuck from On Point Hostess. In this video today, I want to talk to you about dump trays. So what are they? How are they used? How do I make them? What designs are available? Let's jump right into it. So what is a dump tray? A dump tray is a place that I can come home at the end of the day and I can just drop all my stuff out of my pockets. And then tomorrow morning, it'll be there when I get up. So it's just a small tray and it allows you the option to put your stuff there. I sell it in the smaller version like this and a larger one, and I'll show you those molds here in a second. The other key thing is that on my site, I have many, many, many different designs that are available right now that you could pick from. The other key thing though is, is that I can put any picture on them, and I've done these for a lot of customers. Here's one right here. It's their badges and their name. How, how nice is that? And then I'll cut it and it'll look just like that with the badges and the names down the center. I mean, it's a great one of a kind gift. Where else are you gonna get it, right? Here's some other designs that I have right here. This is somebody sent in their um, salmon skin wanted it. Here's a Burberry. There's just a few different designs. I just wanted to run through right quick and show you before we make them. Here's a personal one. They sent in the image, wanted on the dump tray. Here's another one. And then we could do this in all the plain colors too. Here's one they sent in their own badge and they wanted it put on there. Well, I can do that also. And then here's a cool one. It's a half OSI, half security, Air Force Security Forces badge. Pretty neat. So how do I make them? Well, let's go into the shop. So for one year, I'm cutting wood, always cutting wood. So it's a little bit noisy, but that's okay. Now you know what I deal with daily. So I have two size dump trays. The one I showed you out there, this is the mold for right here. And then I have, which takes a, um, the codex that I cut will be 12, eight inches wide and 12 inches long. And then I have a bigger version, which would take a 12 by 12 piece of codex. So what I do is I just cut the codex right put it set the set the machine up put it in let it press okay once it's done you can hear the beeper going off i'm going to turn on the vacuum press i'm going to open up my heat press and get the codex out with one hand <laughs> I'm going to put the, the good side down, make sure that it's centered on the, on the piece. I'm going to cut the extra off anyways. I'm going to put down the vacuum press and then I'm going to open the valve and, and there you go. Boom. So easy, right? So what I'm going to do is let that suck a little bit till it get, cools a little bit. So to help with the cooling process, I've got an air compressor set up in my shop and I can blow cold air on it and try to heat it up a little bit more. I mean to cool it off some more. So you'd see that, I put a compressor in, you see it over there. And then I ran the, I ran the lines up and then I have this, I have air, but then I also have this other tool here where I can use for sanding and grinding on my project. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's pull this out and, and I'll show you how to cut it. So the next step is I'll take a ruler and I just figure out the distance I want all the way around it. And I just measure it out, mark it. And then I take it over to my bandsaw and I'll cut the extra off the edges. And then I'll take it over to the grinding wheel and smooth out the corners. And then I'll sand it with a sand piece of sandpaper. Then I'll shine the edges and I'll have a complete product. 